most important thing for me in my art and general the most interesting thing in life is, is the ideas, science, uh, the knowledge of, of ourselves, of people, how we think, the decisions we make and what is guiding us in, in the life. So that's uh, what I try to represent in my art. Uh, I take an idea that fascinates me at the time or a feeling or emotion and I work on that representing my sculptures. Well, um, at first I started doing uh, sculptures, working on them with the positive surfaces only to represent the outside kind of, uh, of, the, of the object. But then um, I found that they don't actually uh, send the message across in the way I would like to represent it in, in my works. So and I did, did a few experiments, so I took a series of versions that were uh, with all positive curves initially and then I transformed them into uh, into more abstracted but um, sculptures with with a lot of negative surfaces there, and kind of opened them up. And by doing that, I found that the the language becomes more powerful uh, with combination of abstraction and opening up the bodies. So you kind of can see inside, uh, and also it allows kind of to play. Uh, on the contrast between the outside and what's inside and kind of provoke some thoughts uh, of, the, of the audience who sees that. If you look into the kind of traditional uh, medieval or even Renaissance art where uh, this religious subject of a Virgin Mary was um, was looked from different angles by by the painters mainly who were trying and sculptors as well representing it so there were virgins um, uh, sad or virgins happy virgins meeting angels and there were these kind of snapshots of the um, of, of different states of virgins emotionally and i wanted to represent different emotional states myself from my perspective the way i I feel them the way I, I think that they could speak to uh, to the viewer, and and, um, and that's why I call them virgins because it was a series of of several sculptures that are actually representing different uh, different emotional states. So that's the only relation to virgin, and and they were all female sculptures. That's why I call them virgins. But then I developed the subject as I already explained, looked into the opening. Uh, the sculpture so that there is emptiness inside and kind of, um, uh, kind of developed the language into, in that way. It's difficult to explain whether Russia plays uh, directly a big role in my art. I'm definitely very much influenced by, by Russian culture, by Russian literature, by Russian art. Though if I am to name specific events in history or in history of art in Russia, I think I would have it quite difficult to map into what I tried to represent. Um, so I, I guess it does play a huge role, but it, it's all uh, influenced influence in me by my subconscious. So I'm not thinking that much, but I, I love Russian classical music, literature and, and, and art. Yes, I do paintings from time to time, but mostly I do that when I need to capture certain moments or certain vision that I have at the moment that is associated with or, or influenced or driven by the emotions I feel. And the reason I choose to do paintings because, uh, because it's not easy to have the same state or the same motivation for a long time which sculpture making demands, like if I, I am to represent a sculpture it will take weeks if not months to do, with painting I can, I can finish it in, in a few days and that's why um, I go to paintings, but if you ask me what is my preference as you did, I'd say uh, that sculpture allows me to be more flexible with my artistic language and I prefer sculpture. So I lived in several places, I 
lived in Moscow for most of my life and I moved to London, I spent five years there and now I moved to Spain quite recently, actually less than seven months ago. I wouldn't say that Spain has influenced me that much besides that sun uh, on itself is an important factor <laughs> in, in, in life of any person uh, because you, when you see a lot of sun your mood changes and you become more uh, maybe less melancholic and more outgoing and that's probably the way that Spain in influences me so far. Maybe later it would be a different influence but so far that's, that's what I could share. Yes, well, that's how we live. We are born and then we die. If you ask anyone, what is the most, the strongest memories you have? And they would normally, or in most cases at least, uh, call out some very negative and strong memories of their relatives dying or some disease that, that from family uh, member um, or or just kind of depressive state, usually the strongest emotions we feel and remember later are the negative emotions. But we live our lives, um, in most cases, content or happy and uh, we uh, are supported by the, a lot of positive events uh, and positive emotions and memories that we still have, though they are not necessarily the strongest one. Um, so when, when, when I work in my art, I try to look into these uh, mood states that, that, uh, that are the most, the strongest ones that, that people would call out anger, anxiety, um, depression, um, deep thought or reflection or, or dreaming. Um, and I try to represent them in the way I feel through, through my art. So my artworks are very personal in that regard. I, I have my website, uh, which I use for two purposes, to communicate my thoughts and ideas on specific subjects that are, could be politics related or related to religion or the critics of it. Um, and I write them there. And the second is to share my artworks. And there is also a page dedicated to events and exhibitions that I participate in. So that would be the best place to stay up to date with the events. So please subscribe and visit my website or my Instagram. Even.